All right, time for another dream vlog. This one goes back to 2013. I realize I haven't done too many of these recently, but I found this going through my Amis Day app on Facebook, so let's do it. December 2nd, 2013. I had a dream. Okay, it was bound to happen last night, rather 3 a.m.-ish. This morning I had an uncontrollable dream about meeting Paul Walker. Now, this is when he died, and the dream was he didn't die. And I got to do an interview with him or something. Just set the mood or whatever. Story thing. Okay, I was in Hollywood meeting him literally the day after the near fatal car crash. So in my dream, he almost died. He didn't actually die. And I got to meet him. So basically, this is the day after that fatal car crash accident thing. I got to talk about a movie deal. Paul Anderson... The guy who did Resident Evil. And uh, we'll say, we're, I'm guessing we're friends or something in this alternate universe dream world. And uh, he introduced me to him and the interview started. Uh, it was like an interview meeting thing. I don't think it was televised or anything. I think it was just me meeting him. Um, and then it started. And I asked how his weekend was. And Paul was like, well, Johnny, not too good. I almost died in a car accident. And... I responded with, wow, that sucks. But, um, hey, you're he's still here and alive and get to talk to me, so that's good. Paul was like, well, thank you. So, uh, what are we talking about? I hear you want to have me read a script for your movie or something that you wrote. And I was like, yes, I was hoping that when uh, we met, I would instantly just start brainstorming ideas for movies based on your personality. Since that's not happening... <laughs> I have a great idea. Um, I want you to read the script I'm currently writing. Now, it's not done, but I think you'd be perfect for it. I tell him the plot, and he likes it. says it's unlike anything he's ever done before. Can't wait to start working on it. Then I stop in mid-sentence, and I'm like, Oh my god. I just realized you'd be perfect for the movie I'm writing currently. Or, I realized you'd be perfect for this other movie, which I spelled wrong, and normally I fix those, and it's irritating. But carrying on, Coin Traveler... Very good book, by the way. Someday I will read that for you guys. It's perfect. Anyways, he's like, oh my God, I can see it now. Paul Walker in a JFIS production, Coin Traveler. Yes, you must read the script. And he carries on, blah, 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 is honestly, it was, it was fun. It, one of the best interviews I've ever done and been a part of, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. I honestly wish I could have worked with him, but it wasn't meant to be, so I can't be too upset. That's what our dreams are for. I'm glad my body and mind gave me the opportunity to meet a movie icon, which is pretty cool because I did grow up watching Paul Walker. I mean, Meet the Deedles, the original Fast and Furiouses, or the original remakes because that's from like the 50s and 60s, but the original Paul Walkers ones. Uh, and um, that one with Jessica Alba or something, I guess. I can't remember that movie, but uh, it was in a lot of cool movies. Yeah, in my childhood, I guess. So, um, anyways, that was neat. And this is another dream vlog thing or whatever. But this interview thing is actually quite interesting because I, I had an idea where I wanted to do interviews of on on YouTube years ago. I wanted to do this. I've had this in the making forever, where I interview kids or offspring of my favorite movie actors and actresses. And I had like Bella Lugosi's daughter, I think, and uh, Judy Garland's offspring. I think they're all still alive pretty much. Um, yeah, like Frank Sinatra offspring or stuff. Some, I don't know if he has any offspring, but uh, basically that would be just interviewing their now adults and grandchildren and stuff of off, offspring of celebrities, actors from the old golden era, 20s, 30s, silent films and stuff like that that I like. That would be fun, I think, for YouTube because they don't really do interviews like that with people that are from that, and I think it would be fun. So someday, maybe if I'm big enough, I will do that. But I'm going to end this series here. Look up a picture for Paul Walker. I might even put my own artwork actually that's a good idea as a thumbnail and i will see you next time i have a celebrity dream blog <laughs>